menus today. So you have the drinks on this one and the breakfast and the food there. Alright, I'll give you some minutes to have a look. We use little and often with Stuart because when we first started with Stuart he wasn't able to actually go into a cafe and sit down and order his drink. He didn't have the opportunity of choice because a lot of the times it was a menu and Stuart can't read from a menu. So Stuart, do you want to turn it over? The tea. So we made the little compic thing and then we started taking Stuart to the coffee shop um, once a week, once every second week and went through the same process. We'd sit down, he'd open his little book and he'd see what he'd like and he'd choose it from that and then we sort of supported him in that. So it's $9.50, thank you. So under your zipper. We sort of told him to go up to the counter and um, guided him up there and supported him and um, to the point where we've got today where he can actually go up to the, the counter, pay for his drink and I'm standing back a little bit so that's, that's where it's coming to. It's taken a while, it does take a while so that's where we get the little and often as long as we do it um, frequently and um, consistently. Like we started with Stuart and Shelley um, especially with Stuart about two years ago. Okay, how's it going? You got it? Yep, just close your wallet up and put it in your pocket. You have to do it little and often and it has to be consistent. Um, you know, everyone follows the same routines, this too, um, and it'll work. Where's the shopping basket? Get a shopping basket. Yep, thank you. Just one? One. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Come on. <laughs> Should we get an onion, Shelly? What, what do we need? Onion. Mm. Pumpkin. Chicken. Mm. Let's go. Right through the activity, you see that because we have done it before, each person in the team understands their role in the team. We had the conversation with Shelley and she confirmed that her role was to get the chicken on the counter and Cameron was going to get the onion and both of them were going to do the pumpkin. We actually had done the activity before and then we repeated it and repeated it and we fine-tuned to see where people fit and their roles in and they're now in a comfortable level to do shopping at Coles. Thank you, are we done? Let's go and pay. Stretch out. Give it a swish around. Kylie and Jason have been um, really happy to wash up right from the very, very beginning since we instigated it with them. As um, they've done it more often, they've um, become more aware of what to do um, from doing little bits um, very often. Um, they have become more confident, um, more aware of um, the next steps and um, very happy to do it. Can you rub along that straw? Hmm? i tell you what, you hold it in there and I'll pull it. How's that? Well done. Okay. That's your washing up done, Kylie. You did a great job. You're having a little snooze. Hmm? Would you like to dry your cup? Hmm? In the context of what Jason did this morning, um, stopping and having a little um, snooze in between um, washing and drying, um, that's a really good case of uh, little and often uh, because uh, these guys are expending a lot of energy to do simple little tasks. Um, and once again, what might seem a very mundane task for us that we can do in a few minutes or even a few seconds, for them um, it's almost of uh, marathon proportions. They're, they're using so much more energy than we would with the same task. Um, and it's really a, a perfectly okay to have a little break in between or even just to um, do a little bit and not do any more.